Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I've had requests from people asking me just to show you where the lamp was going to go. So I thought I'd do a quick bedroom tour. Um, and I'll explain a couple of things why it's still a work in progress and why things will be moved back out again um, and then put back in place. So um, if I just show you here, I have a small collection of um, Wedgwood and some vintage blue glass. This one is nearly 90 years old. And then I have some milk glass that I've collected, which is quite tricky in the UK because you just can't get it. Um, so yeah, there's a Fenton shoe there. I believe it's a Fenton shoe. And then this is one of my favorites because this is um, like a basket weave pattern. Um, and then it goes up into this beautiful blue color. So that was a really great find. And then I have some more um, Clementine Wedgwood there, just a little set. Um, this is my dressing table. And then I have a vintage vanity there, which is really small and again is 1930s because I love vintage. Um, I've just cleaned all my brushes and things. There's my niece. <laughs> and then today I went out and I bought two new prints. And I should explain that um, one of the reasons why this is a work in progress is because when we moved in, we had a particular decorator that had to, um, we booked and then he cancelled. So he had to get another decorator really quickly. And when we got him in, he said, oh no, I don't use this particular paint. I only use another type of paint. And that's just ridiculous because they should use any paint you want them to. But because we're in such a, you know, it, everything was up in the air, you know, we were renovating. We ended up letting him go ahead. And then if I show you, can you see that some of the paint has really started to flake off? So we have to repair this, which is what we'll be doing. Um, but initially I wanted to get the room sorted and ready before we have to do the horrible bit <laughs> so that when I've done the horrible bit of all the um, sanding and repainting the patches then um, obviously I've got nice things to put back up so those are those two and those for, for you those of you who live in the UK they were from the range um, I think they were $5.99 for the two um, and then down here have all my lotions and potions and again I have some vintage glass this one is modern I think that was the range or something and it's kind of iridescent um, this one is vintage this one is modern and then this one whoop this one over here which has just got cotton buds in it that one is also vintage um, I have another set of lights to go up I'm gonna have them going across the wall these were cheap and cheerful from eBay, just some sunflower lights. And this decal that I have here, I'll just swing round. I have three more to go up and complete the look of the bedroom. But obviously at the moment we need to sort out these terrible walls. Um, they're actually the original pasta. So it should have been a nice, quick and easy job. Um, but no, we probably had the worst decorator in the world. <laughs> so this is my bed. I've just sat on it, so it's probably a bit creased. <laughs> Um, and I've just got three pillows there at the back. Those are the okra ones. They came from Asda. They were like three for ten, which is the equivalent of Walmart over here. Not for long because it's being bought out, but it is Walmart. And then um, I believe the two pillows and the okra macrame pillow, um, I think they were from the range. I'm not entirely sure. And then we'll move over to here. This is where I've got a bit more vintage. I've got... Um, my Fenton duck, which is just here. <laughs> and I have a vintage um, swan and trinket box, which I just love because I don't think I get a close up because none of the petals are cracked. None of the petals are broken. So that's pretty amazing. Um, little pretty boxes, I can't remember, probably from the range. And I know this is an oil, <laughs> I know this is for oil. But I just love it and I just put it there because it's just pretty and it goes in my other glass. <laughs> so I know it looks a bit strange, but you know, never mind. That's modern. And then these two are vintage and they're just transferware. Transfer and then I have um, another vintage jar, which does light up at the back, but the batteries are running out. So I need to replace those. So I won't show you that. Um, and then up here I have a canvas. And this is really where I got the idea to pick the ochre yellow colour. Um, and the duvet cover is from Catherine Lansfield. And that's available various places. And then I bought a little throw today. 
which was actually from Pound Stretcher and it's really soft and pretty and it was like something ridiculous like three pounds fifty so I was really chuffed with that and you can just see if I give you a swing around that's my fan because I get really hot all the time because of my illness so I have that on a lot and it's a humidifier so that's why it's sitting up the way it is um, and I'll just swing around and show you and then up here I have again please forgive the wall as you can see we have the same problem over here it's all got to be repaired and then I bought three excuse me little canvases little um prints happy to top and tail just keep your feet still because <laughs> I love my dogs I have four dogs I know I know it's just too hard to tell me off <laughs> which is about right and then this one um you put the kettle and I'll get the biscuits <laughs> so I bought those today again from the range they were about 3 99 each so that was a bit of a bargain so all in all and then the placemats here that you can see beside my bed with my orange juice glass that I've just had um they were about five pounds again um I think they were from B&M stores so not expensive at all um so yeah that's that's basically my room that's the makeover that I've done so all in all I think it's probably cost I mean I bought some more milk glass so that's difficult to so I'm thinking probably no more than a hundred and fifty pounds to do everything which includes the rug that I got today which was only ten pounds from the range um yeah so that's that's my the tour really and I'll be a lot happier when I can have the energy <laughs> and the enthusiasm to go around and um sort these kind of patches out that have appeared on the walls which is really annoying he got paid a lot of money um but we we're in such a rush to fit him in between the flooring being laid and the kitchen being fitted because as a, as a lot of you know this was a complete renovation oh, i'll just show my window because it's a bit strange um this is a bungalow but what's quite strange about it is one of the bedrooms um, used to be out look out onto the garden you would open up the window but they but the next door neighbors whose mum and dad lived in this bungalow actually built um, a porch but it's a big porch <laughs> and as you can see it's my cat room so um we have a big storage cupboard here you probably can't see because of the light there we go you see now big storage cupboard and um that's where everybody comes in and that has a rose gold and pink colour scheme with pale green walls. Very, very pale green. Um, yeah, and you can see all the doggy coats are drying because it's a very muddy day today. So, yeah, that's kind of weird not having fresh air. But um, I do get used to it. And in the summer, we open up the windows and I have my window open anyway. So it's not so bad. Um, little lamp over here I got for £7, I think. Take you over there seven pounds from um b m again i think yeah so there we go that is my bedroom <laughs> i hope you've enjoyed it guys and um i will see you all tomorrow for another video i'm not sure what i'm doing yet but i'm sure it'll be something fun so uh grab a coffee tomorrow sit down turn on your phone or your tv or your computer and uh, come along with me for half an hour it'd be lovely to see you take care guys i'll see you all again soon bye